Hey everybody, this is ARP103. Thank you again for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to access a key to a balcony that's located right here in the research hall. And so we can look in here in our inventory if you tab over to the keys. We're going to be looking at this key called the balcony key. Let's take a look at it and see what it says. Key to the balcony on the first floor of the research hall. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower gave this to the patient Adeline. Maria had hoped Adeline would find comfort in the faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside, but Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. All right, and so the way that you obtain this key is once you open the, uh, this uh, door right here, which is technically a uh, secret door, uh, shortcut, whatever you want to call it, um, Adeline is sitting over here in the chair, and she's a giant, you know, brain head, whatever you want to call her. So you have to give her two of the uh, brain fluids. Give her two brain fluids and she will give you the key to the balcony. And so I was thinking when I got the key, I was like, well, where, where is the, the balcony door? I mean, I, I thought that it was upstairs, you know, take, you know, elevator upstairs and started killing enemies. And I couldn't for the life of me find it. And, you know, it seems pretty stupid, but, you know, I, I didn't know what they meant by the first four. So I was thinking, well, maybe it's down here. Once I realize you'll come back out here to where the lamp is, you'll come over here once you get the key, and the balcony door is right here. So you'll proceed through. This is the little side area. It kind of looks like the Celestial Emissary boss fight in the regular part of the Bloodborne game. So you can jump down here, and there are two items in this cool little area. Uh, one is going to be way over here on a body right here. The other one, if you look down there, you will see a body that's sitting in a chair. There's another item right there. Uh, the only problem with it is that that's a suicide mission because all of these enemies in here who are uh, gardening or whatever they're doing will immediately attack you as soon as you jump down in there. So you've got to get it and get out as fast as you can. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's just a suicide mission. Uh, there's another way where you, I've tried to do it where you can pull these enemies one by one. And that's a little bit easier than just running and gunning because you know, they shoot some kind of a weird arcane at you that can kill you really fast. Other than that, um, there's one more thing here. This uh, window right here breaks, and so you can break that. You will come over this side, and there's a wandering madness on this side who has two or three bloodstone chunks that you can, you know, kill off of him. On the other side, there is a uh, chest. So when you come over here, you'll notice something different about the floor, and you will see that it is broken. So what you will do is you will make that jump. It's not that hard of a jump. And there's a chest right over there. All right. And so I appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you guys for uh, checking out my videos. <laughs> you can look at my back. <laughs> See you guys later. Take it easy.